Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome to a very windy and cloudy day here in Central Florida. I am on the top floor of the Orange Garage here at Disney Springs and today I'm going to go downstairs and go to the AMC Theater. I'm going to go see the new Jungle Cruise movie. We're, then we're going to have some uh, dinner and walk around and maybe get a sweet treat before we leave tonight. So come along. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the earlier I came to Disney Springs today to go see the new Jungle Cruise movie so behind me is the AMC dine-in theater so I know these aren't just a Florida thing or just a uh, Disney thing you, there's dine-in theaters all across the country this one opened kind of before it was really popular however right now the dine-in full service is not functioning so I'm not gonna be doing the dine-in movie today but what I am going to be doing is they have a Dolby Theater. I'm going to go in and watch it in the Dolby Theater. To kind of give you a waypoint of where this is, this is on the west side of uh, Disney Springs. So right behind me is Footsville. And then back over in this direction is the M&M store. And then further down is the NBA Experience. And down there at the end is Cirque du Soleil. So you can enter through this entrance or you can enter through the fountain at the base of the orange garage. One of the other things I wanted to talk about today is that uh, there is a uh, Flavors of Florida event going on right now at Disney Springs. So a lot of the restaurants and bars have specialty Florida themed either entree appetizer, some are desserts, some are cocktails, some are beers. There looks like some, some good items on here. Most of the restaurants have either an entree or a drink or some places have both. Some of the merchandise stops, shops also have some Florida themed merchandise. Like the Ron John Surf Shop has some Florida flag merchandise t-shirts, which I thought I'd run by and see if I see one I like. I might pick that up. So I don't wanna leave tonight without getting at least one or two of those items. Uh, hopefully a sweet treat. And maybe a, or maybe a cocktail? I don't know. We'll see. So it looks like behind me there's a uh, full service bar, little seating area, and then uh, all the snacks and stuff is behind me. And then I'm going to be over here and Get them on the Dolby Cinema. All right, just out of the movie, and that was uh, really actually a pretty good movie. I, I'm I, I didn't expect much, I'll be honest, but um, I enjoyed it. It was kind of a mix between so like uh, Tomb Raider and maybe um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, anyway, the theater was nice, it wasn't anything special. Well, let's come back once the, uh, the, the fork and spoon, the, the dining portion reopens. I've heard that the food's not that great, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll come back and, and judge for ourselves one of these days. The next morning. All right, so it's the next day. I'm uh, back. This time I'm with... <laughs> they both look incredibly happy because it is currently 10.30 in the morning and we're standing in this gigantic line to get cookies. I left yesterday afternoon because it was busy and I just didn't really feel like standing in some of those lines. So we came this morning, first thing to Gideon's. They have a, um, a uh, key lime cookie that we're gonna get. They also have a breakfast exclusive or a morning exclusive coffee cake cookie. So we're gonna grab that. Um, and then uh, we've got a couple other stops along the way. So we're stopping over here at the ganache where they have a key lime ganache pop. But that's actually not what we're gonna get. They actually have another pass holder. It's either orange or lime and I don't remember. But we're gonna run in here and grab that. All right, so I've got about an hour before I have to leave today to head to work. So we are gonna head back over to Polite Pig. I was gonna try and hit the Coke store, 
but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that and lunch. So we're gonna go to Polite Pig. They have an item on the, uh, the Florida menu uh, for some shrimp and grits. So we're gonna give that a try. Uh, we'll probably try out our cookie and our pass holder chocolate we just got. We're waiting on our food here at the Polite Pig. What'd you get? Um, I got the BLT. And I got the uh, the Florida item, which was the shrimp and grits, which is seems a little weird for a barbecue place, but we'll see, right? Maybe. Maybe it's not good. Then I'll just eat Jen's. <laughs> and um, I think get a few things. And then she can have a cookie. <laughs> and then we got a pretzel. And then we got what you get? What is this? This is the smoked turkey BLT with no tea. All right, and then we got just three sides. We got baked beans, Brussels sprouts, and mac and cheese. And that's how you don't want to be on camera. What? Pretzel. Mmm. The mustard's good. If you like mustard. Okay. So I do have to say this entree was $24. For $24, it's, brought, it's not a lot of food. So I'm gonna hope that the flavor overwhelms uh, to make it worthwhile. Oh my God. The peach and the habanero hit like immediately. Like there's no, like just, like slams you in the face. The sweet sort of um, masks the hot, but the hot comes right after it. And it's all over my tongue. I like hot food, but like Jen would be in right now. Like she would just be running out the door. Um, it's not that hot, it's not that spicy, but it does linger on your tongue. So if you don't like hot, you wouldn't like it. Um, Shrimp is well cooked, maybe a little tad overcooked. And then let's try the grits. It's a decent attempt at grits, but that's not, that's not great grits. So long story short, don't come to a barbecue place and have shrimp and grits. Flavors of Florida said to come get the shrimp and grits. So I did. It's good. It's not worth $24 good. But I'm glad I'm glad we got another item off the list. And um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue to eat before it gets cold. chocolate chip cookie and it's infused with the Florida Key Lime juice and covered in dark chocolate and coated with a crusty pie crust crust. Mmm. And then we got our uh, our little chocolates from the ganachery. Um, it was dark chocolate infused with orange juice with orange bird on it. I know but it had to uh... Whoa. It's orangey. Lime. Limey. It's, it's citrusy. Got, it's got a lot. You know what? It works though. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I envisioned that to be like, <laughs> not those two flavors not to work together, but they, I think they work together. <laughs> you're you're missing it over here. No, he's like. <laughs> Come on, <Josh. laughs> I don't like it. Try it again. Try it again. <laughs> Let's try the orange bird. So the little, I'm trying to hold it down. The little orange bird part is just a little topper. I hate to eat it because it's so cute. Think, think orange thoughts is what it says. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's a good finishing chocolate. 
Mm. Oh yes. Of my chocolates. It's a finishing chocolate. No, I'm gonna eat orange bird. Orange bird tasted really good. Out of all the Florida items that we tried, shrimp and grits, I would say was last. Cookie, I would say was second. Orange bird chocolate first. Most of these items you can get year round. Some of them are special for the flavors of Florida, but started July 6th through August 12th. Anyway, any excuse to come and eat is a good excuse for me. And just try new things. I mean, that's the thing. Like, that's part of it. Try new things. Yeah, I would have never come to Fly Pig and order shrimp and grits. And I, I would or never I would never again. Or I would never. You're cookie. right. I would never order those. Um, we do get sort of in the rut of ordering the same, uh, same old, same old from wherever we go. So it, this is always fun. That's why we like the, the food festival that I've got. So anyway, guys, thank you as always for coming along with us. If never lost, then never found. Don't go get lost. In cookies. In cookies. Yeah, don't forget the cookies.